Microsoft's push for Windows users to have a Microsoft account isn't ending anytime soon. They have continued to block various backdoors through which users are able to install Windows 11. Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. Today I'll be demonstrating an easy way to play a YouTube video on the background of your phone, be it iPhone or Android phone, with your screen turned off. So you can have your music or podcast playing on the background while performing other tasks. Now not just does this make multitasking on your phone easier, turning off your screen while playing such videos saves you some data and also prolongs your battery life. I've made a similar video in the past where I demonstrated this solution, but there have been several updates since then and some of the steps in that video no longer work for some users. So consider this as an update to that video. Here I'll also be addressing some common issues most people face when using this approach. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so typically when you play your YouTube videos using the normal YouTube app, it requires your screen to be turned on the whole time for the video to continue to play. And you also need to have the YouTube app in front of everything else on the screen, otherwise the video will automatically pause until you open the app again. And even if the app is on the full screen and you turn off the display, then it equally pauses your video until you turn your screen back on and tap the play button. With this, you really can't multitask with your YouTube music or podcast playing at the background. To tweak this a bit and play your favorite music at the background while doing other things on your phone or without having to keep your phone screen light on, all you need is a simple web browser. Here I'll be using Chrome to demonstrate this process and I highly recommend that for Android users. For iPhone, you can use Safari, you just need to look out for the settings I'll be adjusting on your own browser settings. So here I will open my Chrome and then search YouTube. Click on YouTube from the search results. Now this is where some users experience the first issue, which is having the YouTube link automatically open from the YouTube app instead of Chrome. Now here is how to fix that. First you need to ensure that both your phone and your Chrome browser are up to date. If not, take some time to update them. For Android phones, this solution requires that your phone supports at least Android version 7 or later versions. So if your phone is 8 years or older, then you might not have this feature on your Chrome app. I first tried this tweak on my 2015 HTC One M9 running Android 7 and it worked fine. So most phones these days should support this feature. After updating your phone and your Chrome app, open your phone settings from the gear icon. Go to apps and notifications or apps and features or just apps depending on what your phone says. If YouTube is not among the top listed apps, just tap on see all and then use search to locate your YouTube app. Tap to open it, then go down and click on advanced and click on open by default. Here under opening links, you can see where it says allow app to open supported links. This is why YouTube links from your Chrome browser automatically opens from the YouTube app. To change that, just tap to reveal the options and then select don't allow app to open links. Now you need to restart your phone for this to be effective. Afterwards, when you come back to your Chrome browser and open YouTube, it should now open right in the browser. Now after the YouTube homepage has loaded, just go back to the top right corner of the screen where you have the three dots. Click on it. You should have a drop down like this pop up. Here go down to where it says desktop site, you will find a checkbox just to the right. Check the box and you should notice your page refreshing afterwards. And now you have a page that looks just like your typical desktop site as though you are browsing on your laptop. Now search for your intended music or some other YouTube video you would want to have just the audio playing on the background. When you have that playing, tap your home button and then pull down from the top. You should now have this mini YouTube player with some controls. Here I can choose to play or pause the video. I can also fast forward or rewind it a bit using the controls. And 
from here, I could further turn off my display completely, just like I would normally do when playing Spotify or iTunes or some other MP3 player. And my video will continue playing on the background one track after another. And if you have a playlist you have made on YouTube, then it becomes even more convenient. Now before we go, a few words for the sponsor of today's video, Prime Tech Mart, where you can obtain genuine Windows keys and other software tools at reduced prices. They have various Windows versions and applications from Office to Visio, Project Pro, various servers and all that. They also have other utilities like data recovery, app migration, video repair tools, backup tools, disk management tools and so on. You can use the coupon code ET20 or EasyTex at checkout for a 20% discount on any of these products if you choose to buy. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope this was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for updates on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.